Hey comic book fans, you know of all the characters that Stan Lee created for the Marvel Universe, who did he say his favorite was? Well, if you said the Silver Surfer, you're right. So today we're going to take a look at Silver Surfer Black, number one, written by Donny Cates with art by Trad Moore. Hey, welcome. Today we're going to look at Silver Surfer Black, number one by Donny Cates and Trad Moore. First, uh, let's take a look at this preview trailer for Marvel. Silver Surfer Black is the culmination of what Donny Cates has been building towards since Thanos wins. The Silver Surfer has been sucked into a black hole and when he escapes, he's very far from home, but it's how he gets back home that I'm really excited for the readers to find out. We're putting Norrin in, in a place where he's never been. He's gonna come up against something in this book that is not only going to challenge him, but perhaps break him. Trad's art in this book is like nothing you've ever seen in a Marvel comic book before. When people see it, their heads will explode. It's cosmic and it's trippy and it's kinetic and it's fast. No one does movement quite like Trad. The style develops in ways that you can't always control. I've been focusing a lot on shape and form. I love drawing the human figure. Silver Surfer gives me opportunity to do that on every single panel. Silver Surfer Black is incredibly um, new reader friendly. We're gonna walk you through a lot of who the Surfer is, not only to himself, but how the general galaxy sees him. Whenever Donnie and I talk about this book, I'm always in awe of what he has come up with. He's actually been able to capture the poetry of the character that Stan Lee established so long ago. He has an exuberance to his work that I just think is perfect for comic books, and it's a fun dance in between the drawings and the words. It is not just a cosmic book. There are threads and tendrils that attach to everything that I have ever written. This is unlike any Silver Surfer comic you've ever read before. And that's awesome. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, the the creators for just a second, right? Um, so, um, Donny Cates has been around Marvel, has written a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't have a favorite of his per se as a writer, um, but the name Trad Moore intrigued me. I saw it and I looked at the style and it looked familiar, and I couldn't remember who was Trad Moore. And then I remembered my old friend Leaf from Mission Comics in San Francisco turned me on to something called Luther Strode. This is a really, really weird comic uh, about this guy named Luther Strode, who was the proverbial 90-pound weakling. He basically read like a Charles Atlas type um, uh, self-improvement guide that he bought in a comic book, but it actually worked and it unleashed his, his inner power and blah, blah, blah. It's hyper-violent, super gory, uh, and really cool. So um, th this intrigued me. So... But his style is very, uh, very non-traditional, right, to say the least. So let's, how does this look, uh, how does this translate to something like the Silver Surfer? Well, let's go to the comics cam and find out. So um, right off the bat, you can see this is not your typical um, Silver Surfer comic, right? Um, this is uh, more style, definitely lends uh, more towards the expressionistic, for sure, than the... Uh, uh, than the realistic um, and uh, he's got a style that like well this is not the way we're used to seeing Norrin Rad in the comics but I, I like it um, it's kind of a non-traditional story although it begins sort of a traditional way it's sort of spinning off from Guardians of the Galaxy and everybody got sucked into a black hole and uh, and now uh, the Silver Surfer has sort of uh, been separated from the from the Guardians of the Galaxy, and now has come to rest uh, in this weird state, in this weird dimension, and uh, he goes through some 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 drama, psychological kind of drama, uh, and and uh, has met these kind of crazy uh, godlike figures from another galaxy, very, you know, very Silver Surfer ish type stuff. But I'm just gonna say. Um, 
I love it. I love the art style. I think the story itself, um, you know, like most Silver Surfer, most of this cosmic stuff, it gets a little bit out there. And uh, unless you're really into that sort of like cosmic storytelling, might not be your thing. But if you are, I think the artwork is serviceable, more than serviceable. It's great. It's beautiful to look at. The action scenes are really clear what's going on. I mean, one thing that... Uh, more showed in Luther Strode as he knew how to do action. He could do this very hyperkinetic um, action scene, and uh, so part, part part of the conceit of this story is that like this something from the black hole has infected the Silver Surfer, starting with his hand. He 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 unleashed part of his power cosmic to save a planet, and now he's sort of got this sickness, and that's that's like the beginning of our story. And now we meet uh, at the uh, some other cosmic characters that love them or hate them. It's beautiful to look at. This stuff is like eye candy to me. So uh, I really enjoy it, uh, and uh, think that you will too, right? So um, think about Silver Surfer Black. If you want to get, you know, if you want your. Uh, Typical standard kind of like um, Marvel space adventure with the Guardians and they're fighting aliens and everything else. You're not going to get that here, right? This is going to be a little bit challenging maybe to read and maybe uh, you got to get past your preconceptions about what a Silver Surfer comic should look like. But, you know, I think that if you can do that, you're going to you're gonna enjoy it. So, I mean, I'm on board. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I know I'm going to love looking at it. So let's put it this way. Um, to me, a, a comic can be really good if it's written very well or drawn very well. Like you can do one, you can drop the ball on one of those and it can still be a pretty good comic. What makes it great is when both things come together. And what makes it super great usually to me is when it's one person, like a single cartoonist who does that. This is never going to be the case with most stuff. Um, from Marvel or DC. They're always going to have a team of various people working on it, although there are exceptions to that. Take a look at the recent uh, X-Men um, books by Ed Piscor, where he's doing everything from the lettering to the coloring to the tones to the... you name it. So it can happen. It shows me that Marvel is 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 open to not just playing it safe with their characters, but like letting some of these... Uh, new creators try new stuff so um, that's always a good idea expose people to new things and uh, and and let your old character shine in new ways so check out Silver Server Black number one hey thanks for watching if you like this video you might like some of these other videos so check them out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell if you want notifications of new videos.